Museum Coopers constructed many of the wooden containers used around the village, using the same methods employed in the 1830s and 1840s. Cooperage, the making of wooden containers, was an important trade during the 19th century. The Rochester City Directory for 1827 lists 79 coopers, and no wonder. In the days before cardboard and plastic, wooden containers had many uses in the home and on the farm, and for shipping goods to market. Wooden buckets were used to draw water from the well and take it to the kitchen and barn. They were used to carry feed to the animals and milk back to the kitchen, and to collect sap from maple trees in the spring. Wash tubs, butter churns, and butter firkins were all made of wood. Sugar and salt were stored and shipped in wooden containers. Then there were barrels, lots and lots of them. Storekeepers received items such as rum, molasses, pork, and salted fish by the barrel. And barrels carried agricultural products to market. Apples, cider, vinegar, and most importantly, flour. In 1827, the city of Rochester exported 202,000 barrels of flour, 7,000 barrels of pork, 750 barrels of beef, 9,500 barrels of potash, and 135,000 barrels of whiskey. By 1834, Rochester had 20 mills, producing a total of a half million barrels of flour every year. Every one of those barrels was made in a Rochester cooper shop. The cooperage here at the museum occupies a building constructed by William Rumsey, a surveyor for the Holland Land Company, as a home for his family. The house, said to be the first frame building west of the Genesee River, stood along the Ontario and Western Turnpike, today's Route 5, in what is now the town of Stafford. 